Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. I'm the owner and founder of Spanish Paquitas. And today I want to show you our free bilingual story called a bilingual circus story, Un Cuento Acerca del Circo. And it's part of our summer bilingual challenge. So I hope you enjoy the story. Welcome everyone to the circus. Let's have fun. Bienvenidos todos al circo. Vamos a divertirnos. You can find an elephant and a lion. The elephant has a blue hat. The lion has a green hat. Puedes encontrar un elefante y un león. El elefante tiene un gorro azul. El león tiene un gorro verde. So what I'm going to do is actually, if you want to go through this with your kiddos, of course you can do so. So you can find the elephant and the elephant if you want to, you can color that blue. I'm just going to label it like this. Okay. And then for the lion, he has a green hat. So I am going to just color just a little outline there to make it green, to make a cute representation there. So you can do that as well, or it comes in color if you want to print this in color as well. Look, there's a clown on top of the stool. The hats are colorful. Mira, hay un payaso sobre la banqueta. Los sombreros son muy coloridos. There's an elephant. I see a seal. The elephant has no hat. The seal has a ball. Hay un elefante. Yo veo una foca. El elefante no tiene gorro. La foca tiene una pelota. Wow, look at that dog. The dog has a hat with stripes. Wow, mira ese perro. El perro tiene un gorro con rayas. Amazing. These clowns play music and do tricks. How many rings do you see? Maravilloso. Estos payasos tocan música y hacen trucos. ¿Cuántos anillos ves? Would you like to count these with me? Cuéntalos conmigo. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. I see three clowns having fun. Let's visit the circus another day. Yo veo tres payasos divertidos. Vamos a visitar al circo otro día. So that is part of the bilingual story. And then you can use this throughout the activity if you want to as well. But part of that is this cute activity here. And I have a circus tent here. And then I have my two little friends there that were showing us what the circus is all about. And then what you have in there, and I have these already pre-cut cut out, is our alphabet letters. And of course there in the, you'll have the ñ in the Spanish alphabet there. And then what we're going to do is actually match these up with respect to lowercase or uppercase. So if I have A here inside the tent, what's well going to be outside the tent? It has to be my lowercase. And you can do the same thing, of course, with B and show or match up what that is. Uppercase, lowercase. And you can do these with all of them. Of course, I'm just going to show you three here. And of course, this is C, C, and then match those up as well. You can do the other way around as well. If I have a lowercase in here, what's the uppercase? And you can show it there as well. So that is one cute way that you can show that. And you can do this for numbers if you want it to. I have the letters because I think that's a good practice to show the different um, types of letters that you can do there. Another fun activity is this that I have here, and let me show you what that is. It's actually a uh, one of those pool noodles that you can get, and what I did is I cut it, it's about seven centimeters uh, long here, and then I cut inside there just to make a small um, hole in there, and then the bottom here, I cut the top of a balloon, and I used the bottom one to make like a little shooter. And then what I'm gonna show you here is, for instance, you can do another match of letters here. So I have G, I have, I have two letters here that you can practice, two set of letters. I have the, the D and the G, G. So I'm gonna insert that one there, and then if you want to, you can lay those on here, and then I'm just gonna gently <laughs> See if it'll if it'll pop out there. I'm gonna try this again. If you pop out, I just don't want to do it too much and pop it out. That is just not going to. There we go. 
and then you can match the uppercase with the lowercase. Of course, I didn't want to do it too, too, too fast so that it, they will, on, will not fly all over the place. So you can have fun. I think it's a great fun activity. You can do with maybe the vowels if you want to, or maybe a few consonants. Say for instance, um, those first few like B and D, anything, any of those you can do. Any pattern that you want to uh, focus on, you can do it as well. So I think that's a fun activity. I think this was probably be way too fun to just pop those pom-poms all over the place. I think that could be very, very cute. So I hope you enjoy this activity. I think the kids will have lots and lots of fun to do that. And I hope you join me next time for our bilingual story time. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.